girls! Are you bored that what you see in the mirror? Be careful how you answer that one. With your fashion, it happens to the best of us. One day you wake up sick and tired of wearing this black t-shirt with the same black pants that I always pair it up with, right? So you have an epiphany. What if I be daring and wear this black t-shirt with jeans? Genius. Instead of having to go out there and waste a plethora of money that none of us or the majority of us don't have, I'm going to give you a few ways on how to reinvent that boring style. Numero uno. First of all, none of this means anything if you can't be honest with yourself. Look in the mirror and ask yourself, is my style boring? Or look at the closet, your closet, and Really assess it. What is it that you have going on? Do you find it to be boring? Do I find my closet boring? Look straight into your closet and ask it. Who am I? Who? Accessorize! 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 For example, you are wearing a black t-shirt with black pants, but you know it's boring. And you could spruce it up a little bit. Accessorize. There's nothing like a fabulous watch, put in some gold glitz or some silver glitz, maybe a timeless feminine type of watch. Or you can take that and layer up your wrists with leather, add some thick leather choker and some big earrings and things like that and let that speak volumes. Sometimes it's all about simplicity. Just take a simple little rope, tie it around your neck like a little gift. So fat. Sometimes it's all about changing that one thing with your boring style. If you wear that plain boring dress all the time with sneakers, if you do, you might want to watch my last video and see what I think about wearing dresses with sneakers. I will link it down below. Then that fabulous day that you wake up and the sun is hitting and you're like, I feel inspired. You take that plain old boring dress, change the suit. You just changed that plain boring dress that you wear all the time with the same boring old sneakers. Dare to change it and wear it with some boots. Ah! That's right. Change it. Because it might not be new, but it's new to you. That's what makes it different, reinvented, and fresh. Because people are not used to seeing you like that. So then when they see it, they be like, oh, wow. All of a sudden, they notice that dress. They are forced to give you a compliment. You look so radiant today. You look like a hippie chick. Are you getting married today? Next. This is piggybacking off of the first tip. And really what you want to do is just step back, compose yourself. Take a deep breath, meditate, look at your closet. Okay, okay, you don't need to do all that bullshit, but just look at your closet. Good. <laughs> look at it, and you might actually see a theme here. Are you a New Yorker? I only ask that because most New Yorkers, when they look at the closet, they have a plethora of black colors, navy blues, grays, and one white. <laughs> but then you have people that are kind of all over the place, a little bit skits maybe, in a good way of course. Like Daisy. Daisy has a lot of blacks, but she knows she has a lot of blacks because I'm a New Yorker in case you didn't know. <laughs> Dare I say Daisy has yellow pants. Oh. Baby blue pants? What the fuck? Gold pants. Who am I? That's right, this New Yorker has freaking color in her wardrobe. Why? Because I've looked at my closet and I see that it did have a plethora of blacks. But it's not for you to run out and get things that you would never wear, no. It's a matter of making a conscious effort, looking at your closet and really assessing it and see what you really need but that you're willing to wear. Just start small, small building steps. What do you see and what do you need? At the end of all this, you will have a more balanced and reinvented wardrobe. Thank you. Lastly, this one, I kind of discovered what I like to call beautifully artistic and well-placed mistakes. I have been wearing my hair longer and I, if I do say so myself, am in love. And Daisy, that sounded so goddamn vain. When I wear my hair loose, I kind of normally part it at the same area because it just, it just 
fuck I know, I just do it that way, you know, because maybe it just looks, I would like to thank you. You want to flip your hair and get rid of the normal part that you always do. The other day, while Daisy was just like, ever so nonchalantly looking in the mirror, playing with her hair, and I'm sure most of you could imagine how that one went, because Daisy was just getting bored of her style. And miraculously, Daisy just flipped it over. And you know what happened? I discovered a ton of new volume. Ah! I freaking have voluminous hair without adding any voluminous products to my hair. Parting your hair against the grain adds so much volume. And at first, yeah, you're gonna be uncomfortable because it's not something that you're used to. But when I looked in the mirror, I was like, how diggity damn color me, you happy bitches. They look cute. And off down below. Smash that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. If you're bored, hit the like button. Until the next time. Yeah.